What up peeps, welcome to today's vlog. Today so far is crazy. We had 74 orders this morning, some of which, you know, we had grabbed before, so they were already back here, but we had probably 55 orders to grab this morning. We did not finish before opening, and so we had probably 10 more orders to grab after we opened. We were trying to do that, and there's like, there's like eight people in the store. There's like three or four more people waiting outside to come in. It was just crazy. Someone's like trying to do a trade-in right away and people are asking to see stuff in the glass cases and it just got really, really overwhelming for a bit. And it's just Abby and myself and then we have Naven and Kyle today. So uh, we're not like, you know, fully staffed or anything. So it's been really, really crazy. This is everything that I have to ship. That's most of it at least. <laughs> so I just shipped one thing to start. Um, we also have gotten a ton of packages today. So we have all these to open. There's a couple smaller ones down there somewhere. So we're gonna be opening those later. We have two packages from Nathan. So there's gonna be more, uh, most likely just NES, maybe some Super Nintendo, but probably just mostly NES. And then looks like we have a couple, we have a collection that we purchased from someone, which is three of the boxes. And then we have a couple smaller ones, which um, I assume are things we purchased from other people, um, but I'm not sure, like one of them was just shipped like from the UPS store, so it just has their address, so I, I don't know until we open it. But we're gonna be doing those later, and uh, for now, I'm gonna work on some shipping. Here are a couple of the first trade-ins from today, guys. In addition to this, I know that there was also a slim PS3, 120 gig, but that's not back here. So we have Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow, new Super Mario Bros. Wii, Wii Fit Plus. I thought that they were $5, but I don't know. Yeah, I know we have a ton of them. Last of Us, Killzone 3, Brunswick Pro Bowling, We Play, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, Battlefield 3 Premium Edition, FIFA Soccer 12. We have Darksiders 2, Definitive Edition. <laughs> I hate that name. Uh, for Game Boy Advance, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, Lord of the Rings 2 Towers, Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku. I think this is the yeah, second one. And then Castlevania, Ari of Sorrow. And then, of course, we have the Sega Genesis Mini which is always cool. We don't get these in a ton. Price tag's on the bottom for some reason. I don't know who's gonna see that in the glass case, so that'll have to be changed, but <laughs> overall, some pretty good stuff to start out the day. So I just went and got some keys made. Um, they couldn't do one of them, but it was one that I'm pretty sure we have a bunch of because we got one with each glass case, so that should be fine. Um, and then one of them, they, the only key they could, they could use to make it is like a Honda, um, or like a Yamaha like motorcycle key. <laughs> so hopefully that works. They only made one for me so that I could test it out. If it does work, then I can go back and get the other ones made because I got four of each key copied. So everyone will have their own set um, at work and then we'll have, we should have like one extra set. So, I mean, if Abby and I each want to carry a set as well, we should have enough to do that. So I'm going to head back to the store now. And if that key does work, unfortunately, I can't get copies again today because they actually close in half an hour. So I probably wouldn't be able to make it back, but that's fine. I can always do it tomorrow. So yeah, making some progress. I did a bunch of shipping earlier as well. Um, I probably shipped 35, maybe 40 packages or so. There's still plenty to do, but uh, you know, I'm trying to get stuff done, trying not to just focus on one thing for the entire day. Um, and then we also have some really, really awesome trades to show you guys once I get back to the store. I uh, still need to work on it, but um, our buddy Tim, who we got, if you guys remember, we got the Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast, Sega CD, and Sega Master System collections from, he brought some more stuff in. And there's more Master System, more Saturn, and some other stuff. It's really, really awesome stuff. So I'm excited to show you guys that here in just a bit. So I got it all done, guys. And yes, it is a little janky, which is the word Abby used <laughs> when she looked at it. But I got this thing at the outlet. Come on, I think it did a pretty good job. It's pretty secure under the wall. Uh, I drilled four, ho four, four holes on the inside in each corner, and then I used little like drywall anchors to screw into the wall so that it was very secure. Uh, there's a stud right here these two go into. This side is not in a stud, but it does have those anchors, so it's not going anywhere. So you just push down on that, open it up, and bam, got some keys. Yeah, I didn't put the little hooks very even, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, there are two sets of keys out right now because Naven has one and Abby has one. 
But yeah, this is super awesome. And I don't care that it looks kind of ugly. I think it turned out great. All right, guys, let's take a look at these trade-ins. We have a bunch of stuff here to go through. First, we have a Game Boy Advance SP, a couple Switch games, Kirby Star Allies and Mario Maker 2. We have a manual and some other paperwork there for Super Mario Advance or Mario Party Advance. We have the Alm and uh, Celica Amiibo here, the Fire Emblem ones. And then I did put all these in order of price. Some of the stuff we don't have very much of, like there's only one Wii U game, <laughs> Lego Batman 3. Then for GameCube, we have Power Rangers, Dino Thunder, Reckless, the Yakuza Missions, Spy Hunter, and Enter the Matrix. For PlayStation, we have some PS2 and then a PS1 long box game. We have uh, Godai, I think it's how you say it, Godai Elemental Forces, Star Wars Starfighter, Matrix, The Path of Neo, Turtles, Smash Up, and then the long box is Destruction Derby. For NES, we have Mario Bros. Duck Hunt Track Meet, Tiny Toon Adventures, and Contra. We have so many Mario Bros. now. A uh, couple PS4 and then PS3 here. We have New Gundam Breaker, Darksiders 3, Kingdom Hearts All in One, and then we have a uh, Common Rider uh, Import, and we have Supremacy MMA, Bound by Flame, uh, Luce Libre, Heroes Del Ring, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, and the Darksiders Collection. We have some movies here. We have The Big Hit, Horrible Bosses, The Majestic, Edward Scissorhands, White House Down, Justice League, Highlander Endgame, which is like a, what is it, a two-disc set, um, <clears throat> Agent Carter, Iron, what is that? That doesn't say, oh, I was, I was like, that can't say Iron Man, Iron Mask, Highlander 2, what, there's a little bug, it's a little flying one, we have Highlander 2, uh, what is that, Stir Crazy, Swamp Thing Complete Series, this looks awesome. Look at that detail. Uh, Silver Streak, Wonder Woman 1984, Like Father, Like Son, The Shawshank Redemption, Legion, The Complete Season 1, uh, Highlander, what is that one, Brother, Brotherhood of the Wolf. Uh, this looks like a triple pack here. And then the Andromeda Strain. And then we have some Xbox One. We have Sunset Overdrive, ReCore, Override, Mech City Brawl, Agents of Mayhem, UFC 2, WWE 2K18, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, Space Hulk Tactics, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Jumanji the Game, G.I. Joe Operation Blackout. For 360, there's also a couple original Xbox games mixed in here. We have The Sims, Sky Heroes, Pocket Bike Racer, Sneak King, Big Bumpin', Mech Assault, FIFA Street, Gears of War, Red Faction Guerrilla, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, Ninja Gaiden, Don King Presents Prize Fighter, Brutal Legend, Tenchu Return from Darkness, uh, Sega GT 2002 and Jet Set Radio, Gun Metal, Enslaved, Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing with Banjo-Kazooie. I don't think I've ever seen that version of it. That's pretty cool. Blood Drive, Bully Scholarship Edition, Transformers Devastation, Scarface The World Is Yours, and Rumble Roses XX, or, I mean, I don't think it's 20, they didn't make 20 of these, but, yeah, for 360. And then, lastly, I saved these for last, because it's probably the most exciting, but we have a stack of Sega stuff here. This is a mix of different consoles, but it's all Sega, and some Japanese stuff as well. So we have Fighters Mega Mix, Japanese Saturn, uh, Demolition Racer for the Dreamcast, Slave Zero for Dreamcast, Tony Hawk for Dreamcast, Street Fighter Zero Two for the Japanese Saturn, the Ninja for Master System, Cosmic Carnage for the 32X, and X-Men Children of the Atom for the Japanese Saturn. The case is kind of cracked right there. It's missing the plastic right here, but other than that, it's all in there. So we do still have a really awesome trade that I just have not gone through yet. I'm going to do that right now, and then we'll take a look at it once I'm done. These are the last of today's trades before, well, I guess these are not all of them technically, um, but the other one, the guy dropped it off. I emailed him with the offer, so I'll check after I film these if he accepted it. I'll show you guys those. Obviously, if not, I'm not going to show them, but then we have a ton of packages to open. So these I did not put in any particular order. This is just how they were brought back here. So we have Shantae, Seven Sirens Collector's Edition for the PlayStation 4. So about this. Everything is sealed inside, 
except the something got damaged like the cardboard insert or something got damaged so the game is sealed you can see um the soundtrack in there is sealed but uh yeah something got damaged on the inside so limited run like replaced it for the guy so this was his extra copy so there's that we also have the palatina smash amiibo and then we have a couple uh boruto figures that's that one and this one we have a cyberpunk strategy guide hardback one and then we have an xbox one controller contra hardcore lego batman 2 snow white uh, diamond edition toy story special edition Corora and Paul marvel mania chicken little ace in action little big planet 3 track mania turbo and resident evil 5 then we have pokemon y pokemon mystery dungeon explorers of sky excuse me ultra sun regular sun omega ruby and detective pikachu we have stranger things blu-ray uh stranger things i guess season two what is this it's probably a blu-ray yep blu-ray this is super heavy there's a lot of stuff in here and doesn't want to close there we go then we have detective pikachu uh naruto set two uh, Naruto four movie collection, the movie, set number one, <laughs> triple feature collector's edition with a steel book, Star Wars Last Jedi, 4K Ultra Blu-ray, Star Wars Force Awakens, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, Anchorman, and Poke Park 2 Wonders Beyond. So there's some pretty good stuff in here, really awesome trades from today. So I'm going to check my email, see if he accepted the offer. If he did, we'll take a look at that stuff right now. So he has not seen the email yet, or he at least has not replied to it yet. So I'm not going to show you guys that stuff right now. I did hang up this banner though, so we have something to look at in the background. Somebody was saying I should hang some more stuff up back there. So I did, so this is a disc resurfacing order. So is that, <laughs> so is that. Okay, I should have looked at these first. Um, we still have tons of packages to open. These are just happen to be all the smaller ones, but we do have one here. It doesn't say disc resurfacing. So we're starting with the smaller packages first. And in this first one, let me see if there's a note. Yes, there is. It says, <laughs> it says, Abby, Cooper, Ryan, Navin, Kyle, Devin found the vlog randomly shortly after the store opened and have been a daily viewer since really enjoy all the content hopefully the gameplay videos keep coming i bought moonlighter on the switch because i thought it looked fun after hearing you talk about it thanks again for working on a deal with me josh so definitely have plans to have some more gameplay videos coming up um we i still have two filmed that i have not edited yet we have the last um like new super mario u video of the four of us playing together and i think i have one more bomb chicken video that, that i filmed a long time ago that i just never got around to putting it together um and it's just gonna be me for the rest of the vlog here abby is helping our friend scott um take care of his dog gumball because he's gonna be going out of town this weekend so she went over there to kind of like learn the routine um so she had to leave she wanted me to open packages with her as soon as we closed but i just wasn't ready uh, we had some other stuff to take care of first so unfortunately unfortunately she already left but um josh sent some stuff here which is super cool one of which i need um, for my collection, and that is Resident Evil Code Veronica. This is the most expensive GameCube game I still needed, so very, very happy to knock that one off the list. And then the rest of these are for the store, of course. We have Resident Evil 4 for the GameCube, Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil, and so far, they are all complete. And we have Resident Evil 2, also complete. And Resident Evil 3, complete. And lastly, Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Snakes. So that one's also complete. And the discs do not have any of the little paint cracking that's very common with that game. So thank you, huge shout out to Josh for sending these in. Um, cool, his email and everything's on here. So I'm gonna be sending him payment as soon as I'm done filming all this stuff. So I'm going to clear some room here. We have some bigger packages to open next. 
So we have two boxes from Nathan because we were closed for a couple days. I assume that UPS tried to deliver these like, you know, once per day, but we of course were not open. So we have two of them this time. And like I said before, I'm pretty sure these are all going to be NES. There could be some more Super Nintendo, but it seems like he got all of that stuff into those two packages we opened previously. But we'll see. Both these boxes are the same size. They're both pretty big. And I'm seeing just NES games, at least on the top of this one. So let me move this as much out of the way as I can. We have Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Operation Wolf, Mario Duck Hunt Track Meet, Othello, Destination Earth Star, Rad Racer, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt and Karate Kid, Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, WWF WrestleMania, there's two of those, and Pinball. So those are the ones that were all like up on top. Then we have so many. We have Duck Hunt, Ring King, Al Unser Jr. Turbo Racing, Skater Dive, Marbus, Duck Hunt, and Racket Attack. Fester's Quest, Top Gun Second Mission, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Vegas Dream, Urban Champion, which is a good one. Codename Viper, Captain Skyhawk, and Top Gun. So most of the games that we have gotten from him so far, um, which, you know, if you guys remember, he got them from a garage sale of an ex-store owner. And it definitely seemed like everything was picked over. We haven't found anything that was more than like $12.99. I think Urban Champion might be. I'm, I'd have to double check. Um... But the best game we've gotten so far out of all the pa packages that were NES, at least, have been, um, what was it? Uh, Turtles. So most of the games have been cheaper, which is fine. We expected it. Um, but to see stuff like Urban Champion and even the Turtles and like Tetris and stuff, um, it's, it's nice to get some of that stuff for the store. Here we have Adventures of Dino Ricky, Gyromite, TNC Surf Designs, Silent Service, NES Play Action Football, Codename Viper, Cybernoid, and Astian Axe. Even stuff like Cybernoid and Nasty Axe, we don't get those games very often, so that's that's cool. Legend of Cage, Track and Field 2, Top Gun 2, and Hoops. Tetris seems like a game we should have a million copies of, but it sells too often and we don't get it traded in, so we don't usually have it. Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Track Meet, Ice Hockey, Operation Wolf, Top Gun, Fighting Golf, Taboo, The Sixth Sense, and Double Dribble. Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, uh, Quattro, Quattro Sports, RBI Baseball, Bases Loaded, NFL, and Big Bird's uh, Hide and Speak. Sorry guys, these are just super dusty. Iron Sword, two copies of Rad Racer, Caesar's Palace, To the Earth, and Legacy of the Wizard. Captain Skyhawk, RC Pro-Am, Excite Bike, which is cool, another RC Pro-Am, Solstice, Tetris, and Mario Bros. Duck Hunt Track Meet. Ice Hockey, Operation Wolf, two copies of Pinball, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt Track Meet, and John Elway's Quarterback. And this is the last of the top layer. Little League Baseball, Stealth ATF, World Class Track Meet, two copies of Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, and Anticipation. And then we have the full bottom layer here of games. We have Legacy of the Wizard, Adventures of Bio Billy, Abadox, which is a decent one. We don't get very often. To the Earth, Mock Rider, and Karnov. WrestleMania, Karate Champ, Sp Super Spike V-Ball, Nintendo World Cup, Bases Loaded 2, two copies of Mario Bros. Duck Hunt Track Meet, and Top Gun. Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Astian Axe, Kung, Kung Fu, Robo Warrior, and Pinball. Pinball, Operation Wolf, Wheel of Fortune, Junior Edition, Monopoly, Golf, NES Play Action Football, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. Snake's Revenge, that's a good one. Uh, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, WrestleMania, Highlight, Dr. Mario, Abadox, and Tetris. Sesame Street 1, 2, 3, John Always Quarterback, Mario Bros. Duck, Duck Hunt, Silent Service, 10-Yard Fight, and Mylon Secret Castle. Some of them have bad end labels. 
Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Sesame Street 1, 2, 3, Rad Racer 2, too bad it's not RC Pro-Am 2, uh, World Games, Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, and Super Glove Ball. And the last row, we have Little Mermaid, Commando, Hoops, Baseball, Karate Champ, Adventures of Bayou Billy. Karate Champ, Jeopardy, Ice Hockey, Racket Attack, Skate or Die, and Bayou Billy. And the last little stack for this first box, Dr. Mario, Tiger Heli, Mario Bros, Mario Bros Duck Hunt, Track and Field 2, Shadowgate, and Russian Attack. Russian Attack, I think, is on the higher end of the cheap games. So I'm going to clear these out, and we'll open up the second one. All right, second box here from Nathan. And then we have a three-box collection to open up from one person. Sorry if I'm moving the camera around. Everything is on this, this like white board. All right. More NES games. All right. We have Mission Impossible, 3D World Runner, Iron Tank, Bayou Billy, Double Dribble, and NES Open. Some different titles in there. We have Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Tennis, Bayou Billy, Dr. Mario, Bases Loaded, and Adventures of Dino Ricky. Then we have Taboo the Sixth Sense, Othello, Solar Jetman, Infiltrator, Eight Eyes, and Bayou Billy. I like seeing these different titles that were not in, you know, all the other boxes. Most of them are, you know, duplicates, but like Eight Eyes is the first one of those, I'm pretty sure. Airwolf, Monopoly, Rad Racer, Bases Loaded 2, Marbo, Stuck on Track Me, and Wheel of Fortune. Uh, to the Earth, MLB, Jeopardy, Bandai Golf, WWF, WrestleMania, Tetris, and Robo Warrior. Iron Sword, Othello, Top Gun, Casino Kid, Track and Field, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, and Total Recall. And of course, these are the first time, this is the first time I'm seeing these as well. Um, we were not sent a list or anything like that before buying them. Operation Wolf, Blades of Steel, Rock and Ball, Captain Skyhawk, Baseball, and Rad Racer. Pretty sure that's the first Rock and Ball we've had. I don't think it's a very expensive game or anything, but it's nice to just get a variety of titles. Taboo the Sixth Sense, Wrath of the Black Manta, Stealth ATF, Top Gun, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, and two MLBs. Mission Impossible, Karnoff, Tag Team Wrestling, Bart vs. The World, that's probably the best game so far, and Caesar's Palace. That Bart vs. The World is the first one of those, that's pretty cool. Then we have Golgo 13, Super Off-Road, Rocket Ranger, Super Team Games, Abadox, Blades of Steel, and To the Earth. And then we have Mario Bros. Duck Hunt Track Meet, Gyromite, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Dr. Mario, Rad Racer, Dr. Mario, NFL, and Disney's Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. And then Hydlide, Duck Hunt, Tetris, Deadly Towers, Tecmo Bowl, Gotcha, and Rad Racer. Last of the top layer here. We have Mission Impossible, Biobilly, Marble Madness, and Rad Racer. I think that might be the first uh, Marble Madness as well. All right, to the bottom layer. We have Mario Bros, Mario Bros Duck Hunt Track Meet, Mario Bros Duck Hunt, WrestleMania, Side Pocket, and Bigfoot. I think that's the first Bigfoot out of these packages from him. Biobilly, Pro Wrestling, Rambo, Mario, and then Mario Bros Duck Hunt. Jack Nicholas Golf, Karnov, Double Dribble, NFL, Adventures of Dino Ricky, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Xenophobe, and Top Gun. Dr. Mario, Iron Sword, RC Pro-Am, Blades of Steel, Top Gun, Mission Impossible. Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Mylon, Secret Castle, Super Glove Ball, To the Earth, Monopoly, and another Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. Got so many Mario. <laughs> 
Silent Service, Hunt for Red October, Trojan, Top Gun, Jaws, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, and Tecmo Bowl. Dr. Mario, Tetris, Skater Die, Top Gun, 10 Yard Fight, and Mario Bros. Duck Hunt Track Meet. Super Off Road, uh, Silent Service, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, TNC Surf Designs, and Jaws. Rad Racer, uh, Strider, that's a good one. Kung Fu, Operation Wolf, and two copies of Bayou Billy. That might be the first Strider out of these packages. And the last little, little stack here. We have Silent Service, Spy Hunter, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Monopoly, Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Super Glove Ball, and Tetris. So now that we've gone through all those, we're going to move on. Thank you to Nathan once again. And we're gonna move on to the last little set of packages, which is a collection we purchased from someone and there's some pretty good stuff in there. So for these last ones, they're marked, like this is box one of three. So I'm going to open this one first and hope that this is the one that has the note because I really don't know. But it was shipped UPS. It looks like they might've had it packed at the UPS store. And if, if that's the case, then UPS would have labeled box one, two or three. And I don't think that it would really matter at that point. But hopefully we can find that note. Yes, it's in the first box. <clears throat> All right, says double jump team. Here are the items discussed in the email. It sucks having to resort to picking out the collection and taking care of things. And it hurt me in the stomach to part with them, but my family comes first and I know you will take care of these games and find them homes. So I really appreciate you for taking the time to look through my list and come up with an offer. I've watched Cooper's videos for a few years now and it really has been a blast seeing your journey to the store and beyond. I know we've never met before, but maybe that'll change in the future. I'm a video game nerd slash metalhead myself. Fun fact, I found out about you because of your band and found out about your YouTube after. That's pretty cool. I know a few people have done that, but it's definitely not the normal thing. Um, I don't want to read this one part because it kind of gives away something. Thank you so much, and I wish only the best for you and yours. I'll have to come out and check out the store sometime. Thanks again. Regards, Travis. And then he's got his info. So thank you to Travis for this. And yeah, it, it, I haven't had to get rid of my collection because of like a, you know, a family issue or anything, but I could definitely understand how it wouldn't be fun, but Travis, you are right. Family does come first. If, if something happened to like my parents or to my sister or to Abby or something like that, and we needed like a ton of money really quickly, I wouldn't even think twice about before, you know, selling a bunch of my stuff to get that money for a life saving surgery or something like that. So family always comes first, but I'm glad that we were able to help out and at least, at least hopefully, you know, take a load off your shoulders and get you some much needed money to take care of whatever the issue is. I don't think that we discussed that, but either way, I'm happy to help. So first up, it looks like we have uh, PS1 and there was kind of a, a thing about the PS1 games is that most of them are disc only. And that's the part that I was reading. Most of them are disc only and he created cases for them in Photoshop and printed them out. And so they look fantastic, but they are technically disc only. So first up, we do have some that are complete here. We have Cardinal Sin, Vampire Hunter D, NCAA Game Breaker, and The Mummy. And then, let's see if I can pull these out. So here is just like an example. This is Saga Frontier 2, but look at this case that he made. It's incredible. And I don't know if he like customized these completely by himself or if these were like, you know, pre-made downloaded things from like the cover project or something, but these look awesome. <laughs> so Saga Frontier, I'm not gonna open them all up. You guys obviously know what the disc is inside. Silent Hill, Star Ocean, second story. I am gonna open this one because it's multiple discs. So yeah, he has both in there. Bushido Blade 2 and Saga Frontier. 
And what sucks about a lot of these being disc only is that they're mostly like fantastic games, like expensive stuff, RPGs. <laughs> so Star Wars Dark Forces, Vagrant Story, Frogger, Dragon Quest Eight, no, Dragon Quest Seven. I don't, that's not the cover for the PS1 version of Dragon Quest Seven, is it? That looks like a DS game. That looks like the logo and stuff from uh, from the DS version of Dragon Quest. I don't know. <laughs> then we have Dino Crisis. That's a cool looking different cover for it. And then we have Sui Coden. And sadly, Sui Coden 2. Disc only, but still. Still a very expensive game. And then we have Tenchu, Stealth Assassins, and Alundra 2. And of course, um, when we put these in the system, we're not going to get rid of these cases. They are going to include them. So if you end up buying one of these that is listed as disc only, you will get the case with it. We have Breath of Fire 3. Metal Gear Solid. This is a printed cover because they did the, the PS2 style case for this game, which looks just like that. But this is actually the, the printed one that he made, not the official big case. Uh, one Extreme. And Breath of Fire 4, Crash Bandicoot Warped, and Tomb Raider 2. Martian Gothic, Need for, Need, uh, Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit, and Threads of Fate. There's still a lot more, at least for the PS1 stuff. We have Fear Effect, Jade Cocoon, Cartia, The World of Fate, so here's one thing. I'm pretty sure we already have a case and manual for this, and we might have cases for a few of these. So if we can complete them, obviously we're gonna do that first. This one, I'm like 90% sure we have a case and manual. Then we have Soul Reaver, Final Fantasy VII. That is a cool case for that. <laughs> Final Fantasy VIII, that one looks pretty cool too. Xeno Gears and Wild Arms II. Final Fantasy Tactics, Wild Arms, Gauntlet Legends, The Grand Stream Saga, Hercules and Hexen, and then Two Extreme, Alone in the Dark, The Legend of Dragoon, Legend of Lagaya, and Lunar Silver Star Story complete. Is that complete? I don't know. Twisted Metal 2 and Lunar 2 Eternal Blue. I think that's it for the PS1 games. Then we have two copies of Speed Kings for the GameCube, which uh, these are both complete. As you guys know, well, one of them kind of sun faded, but as you guys know, this is one of those uh, GameCube games that was really cheap, but kind of uncommon. And then the price went up. And then we have Brunswick Pro Bowling for the Wii and Xenoblade Chronicles X for the Wii U. Looks like we have a couple more Wii U games in here. We have Nintendo Land, Scribble Knots Unlimited, and Transformers Prime. And then I think the rest of this box is all just Wii games. So we have Domino Rally, which is sealed, The Conduit, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Dragon Quest Swords, Fire Emblem, Radiant Dawn. Very, very awesome. Complete. Then we have Fishing Master, World Tour. GoldenEye 007, House of the Dead Overkill, and Kid Adventures Sky Captain. And then Rayman. What? This has got to be... It's either Canadian or Mexican copy. Kind of cool. Active Life Outdoor Challenge. Wii Fit Plus, Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, Muramasa Demon Blade, One Piece Unlimited Adventure, Phantom Brave We Meet Again, Rec Room Games, Red Steel 2, and Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles. Oh, we also have a couple disc only games here. We have Siphon Filter and Family Feud for PS1. Kirby's Epic Yarn, Skyward Sword, and Mario Kart Wii. Uh, what is that? Wing Island, Xenoblade Chronicles, Need for Speed Pro Street, 
New Super Mario Bros. Wii, My Sims Sky Heroes, Wii Fit, Mario Galaxy 2, another My Sims Sky Heroes, The Last Story, Arc Rise Fantasia, Beyblade Metal Fusion, and Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario All-Stars, Star Wars Clone Wars Republic Heroes, Sea Monsters, Shiren the Wanderer, Sing 4, Sonic Colors, and Wii Sports Resort. And then the last stack from the first box here, we have Rayman Raving Rabbids 2, Samba de Amigo, Mario Land Shake It, Epic Mickey, Super Paper Mario, and Scooby-Doo First Frights. So I'm gonna move these and we'll open up the second box. Box number two. At least the box that's labeled box two. Oh, come on. It's kind of hard to cut these open sometimes because you don't wanna you don't wanna just cut through with a bunch of force because you might cut whatever is you know whatever is right on the inside. Yeah, I wouldn't wouldn't have wanted to do that. That could have been bad. All right. So, first we have PS1, Heart of Darkness. That's the only PS1 game I see on the top. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I lied. We have a Japanese Star Ocean for PS1. And then we have some 3DS. We have Zelda, Link Between Worlds, Animal Crossing, Happy Home Designer, a sealed Yokai Watch, Ocarina of Time 3D, Zelda Triforce Heroes, and a game I have literally never seen before, Brain Age Concentration Training. Weird. Then we have a Japanese boxed Game Boy Advance game. It is Oriental Blue. And then a bunch of Vita games here. We have Tales of Hearts R. Oh my god. They're so slippery. The cases are just too sleek. They're all they're all trying to go everywhere. Killzone, Mercenary, Persona 4 Golden, Dragon Quest Builders, Child of Light, Lego Lord of the Rings, Dungeon Hunter Alliance, World of Final Fantasy, Little Big Planet, and Broken Age, which is a limited run game. Then we have this little beautiful container. And inside we have Mario Tennis Power Tour and Dual Blades, which I've never seen before. Lego Star Wars 2 and Bok Tai, The Sun is in Your Hands. This is a very cool, I never played the game, but the concept of it is pretty cool where you can, it's got like a, like solar, like mini solar panels in there that can detect if you're playing it outside. And like I said, I haven't played it, so I don't know exactly what it does in the game, but I always thought that was really cool. I like all the cartridges that have special things like that, like the um, the Yoshi Topsy Turvy and the WarioWare Twisted and stuff like that. They all just, it's so cool when they're just not like your standard cartridge. Then we have Monsters, Inc., Road Rash Jailbreak, Eminem's Blast, Gumby, and Cars. Then we have Alone in the Dark and NBA 3-on-3. Three -three. Uh, Crazy Racers, Rugrats, Castle Capers, and Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 1 and 2, like the double pack one. Madagascar, The Incredibles, Dora, and Finding Nemo. Little Einsteins and Pokemon Pinball, Ruby and Sapphire. Namco Museum, Lego Star Wars 2. And then Pac-Man Collection and Shrek Hassle, Hassle at the Castle. And then we have a sealed avatar, the game, and this is like a bundle pack that comes with a, a figure for PS3. Then Mass Effect Trilogy. We have Conan, Cross Edge, Ratchet and Clank Future, Tools of Destruction, Resistance Fall of Man, Gundam Crossfire, Metal Gear Solid 4, and Blur. Cars 2 and Burnout Paradise. There's a lot of PS3 games in here. I think the whole rest of this box is PS3. We have 
Dead Space 3, Def Jam Icon, Diablo 3, Disgaea 3, Ridge Racer 7, Sacred 2 Fallen Angel, Skate, Sonic Unleashed, and Dragon Age Origins Awakening Expansion Pack. Star Ocean Last Hope, Tales of Graces F, Tales of Zillia 2, Kingdom Hearts 1.5, Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, Kingdom Hearts 2.5, Front Mission Evolved. Killzone 3, A Realm Reborn, Darksiders 2, which is still sealed, Valkyria Chronicles, White Knight Chronicles 2, and SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. And these are getting in my face. We have Lair, Last Rebellion, and Resonance of Fate. And then Splinter Cell Blacklist, Under Defeat HD, Dark Kingdom, Dirt 2, and Tomb Raider Underworld, and Hawks 2. We have 3D Dot Game Heroes, Anarchy Reigns, Alpha Protocol, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and Dragon Age 2 Bioware Signature Edition. And then Dragon Guard 3. What was that Quantum Theory, which is still sealed? Remember Me, Monster Madness, Grave Danger, Guitar Hero Live, Condemned 2, and Transformers. Asura's Wrath, Artanelico uh, Koga, I think it is, Beyond Two Souls, <clears throat> Grand Theft Auto 5, Gran Turismo 5, DuckTales Remastered, which is still sealed, Elder Scrolls Oblivion, Dragon Age Inquisition. Disgaea 4, Dragon Age Origins, Assassin's Creed Rogue, and Atelier Maruru, The Apprentice of Our Land. Madden 08, Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom, M Motorstorm Apocalypse, Ratchet and Clank Future, A Crack in Time, Nier, and Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. Lego Batman 3, Ratchet and Clank All for One, Need for Speed Shift, Genji, Days of the Blade, Folklore, Eternal Sonata. This looks different. And Final Fantasy 10, 10, 2. What the heck? So this is printed, but the original one was behind it. <laughs> so that's weird. Yeah, that's the one that looks more like the official one I remember. And then we have Enchanted Arms, Harry Potter, Half-Blood Prince, Trails of Cold Steel, Lord of the Rings War in the North, Assassin's Creed Revelations, Assassin's Creed 3, and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And then the last games in this box, we have another Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Lollipop Chainsaw, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 13, 13 2, and Lightning Returns. So once again, I'm gonna clear some room. We'll get to the last box. All right, last box, guys. Then we're going to end the vlog so I can get home. Let's see what's in this one. All right, this is the biggest of the three boxes, but it's also the lightest. Oh, it is double box. a bunch of bubble wrap which we of course always reuse and yeah this one is just double boxed ah, come on there we go Ooh. there's not enough room in here we have a stupid tv down here that that uh, someone brought back because it has, and we think that it happened after they bought it, but it's got like some discoloration in one of the corners, which it didn't have at first. We think that when they took it home, they set it next to like a speaker in the car or something. It's not a big deal, but uh, yeah, that's kind of in the way. All right. We have a big mix of stuff in this box. 
looks like Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Nintendo 64, PSP, and DS. So, most of these look like they have custom cases again for like all the Game Boy ones. So, we're gonna start with those. We have Robopon, Sun version, a bam. We have Dragon Warrior 3, Pokemon Crystal, we have Bionic Commando, Elite Forces, Duke Nukem, Babe and Friends, Dragon Warrior 1 and 2, and R-Type DX. Final Fantasy V Advance, Breath of Fire and Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. Pokemon Emerald, Pokemon Leaf Green, Final Fantasy VI Advance, Monster Rancher Advance, Golden Sun The Lost Age, and Breath of Fire 2. Final Fantasy Legend 2, Final Fantasy Legend, Goal, Donkey Kong Country, Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets, Shrek Fairy Tale Freakdown, Dragon Ball Z Legendary Super Warriors, Dragon Warrior Monsters, Blade, Ocar sorry, <laughs> Oracle of Ages, and Oracle of Seasons. I almost said Ocarina of Time. Uh, Luffy Legend Returns, Pokemon Gold, and Pokemon Silver. And then Final Fantasy 1 and 2 Dawn of Souls, Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories, and Legend 3, Final Fantasy. And then, I think that's all the Game Boy ones, so now we'll move on to DS, which these have their original cases. We have Pokemon Black 2, Fighting Fantasy, The Warlock of Firetop Mountain. Never seen that game before. We have Soul Silver, Dragon Ball Origins, Blue Dragon Plus, Cake Mania 3, Dragon Quest 6, and Radiant Historia. Uh, Maze, Mazes of Fate DS, Metroid Prime Hunters, Suicoden, Final Fantasy 3, Pokemon Heart Gold, Sands of Destruction, and Chrono Trigger. And this Chrono Trigger is the first print, which has the poster in there, so it's worth a bit more. And then we have Golden Sun, Dark Dawn, Final Fantasy Tactics A2, Final Fantasy XII Revenant Rings, Black Sigil, Blade of the Exiled. This, this one looked printed at first, but now it doesn't. And then Dragon Quest IX and Hoshigami Remix. And that is all of the DS stuff and all the Game Boy stuff. So for PSP, we have Armored Core, Formula Front, Extreme Battle, Knights in the Nightmare, Lord of Arcana, which is sealed, Dungeons and Dragons Tactics, Breath of Fire 3, what does that say? Dragoneers, Aria, and God of War, Chains of Olympus. Fantasy Star Portable, Valkyrie Profile, Lenneth, Riviera, The Promised Land, which is sealed, Kingdom Hearts, Birth by Sleep, Final Fantasy 4, Crisis Core, Final Fantasy 7, and Wild Arms. Is that XF? Last PSP games, we have Star Ocean First Departure, Brave Story, and Final Fantasy. And then lastly, we have N64 games. So these also have printed covers. So we have NBA Courtside 2 and Majora's Mask. These are nice. If you're not going to collect complete in box, this is a great alternative. And then we have GoldenEye, Cruisin' World, Aiden Chronicles, Kobe Bryant and NBA Courtside, Wave Race 64 and Road Rash 64, Castlevania, Turok 2, and Tetrisphere. And the last three we have Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium 2, and Pokemon Puzzle League. So, yep, that is everything. So thank you to Travis for all this stuff. This is super cool. And uh, I don't know when this stuff's going to be in the system, guys. It's definitely going to take us a few days at least. Um, yeah, we got to catch up on shipping. That's probably the number one priority. And uh, Devin is the only other person trained to do shipping aside from me and Abby. So Abby usually runs the register the, most of the day. So um, 
I am kind of like handling shipping with Devin. So when Devin's here, he's doing shipping. When Devin's not here, I'm doing shipping. But I think it's gonna take both of us doing shipping at the same time to really catch up because we, we're getting so much stuff in that we're selling so much stuff and a lot of it has to be shipped out, of course. So there's just, there's a lot to do, but we're gonna catch up and then we'll get all this stuff into the system. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. Um, so that's pretty much it for today. Um, I had mentioned before that I wanted to get a bunch of stuff done today and I wanted to possibly like get some eBay stuff done. That of course did not happen. Today was way busier than we expected and we had a lot more orders to ship than I thought as well. So um, at least we got the keys copied and we got that thing up. That was one of the, the main things I wanted to do. And I'm just gonna continue working on the artwork for the windows each night until that's done, then we can make that order and get that stuff up and it'll be awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you again tomorrow.